in this problem okay means uh, like you know normal load frequency control formula of your power system should not be used because at no load conditions frequencies will be different let us see two identical 2000 kilowatt actually some people may think that like you know why i have taken two identical 2000 okay so in both the sides should we have 2000 only like you know on x axis no it is not like that one can be 2000 another can be 3000 something like that okay two identical 2000 kilowatt 50 hz alternators operating in parallel the governor of the first machine is such that the frequency rises rises uniformly from 50 hz on full load to 52 hz on no load 50 to 52 the corresponding uniform speed rise of the second machine is 52 50 h to 52.5 h if each machine is fully loaded at rated frequency what would be the what would be the load on each machine when the total load is reduced to 2400 kilowatt okay calculate maximum load okay actually about the second point one beautiful concept is there we will discuss but anyway like you know let us see okay so this is going to for example first machine pa this is going to be second machine pb okay don't think that if i have third machine should i should i take like you know 3d no 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 okay in our load frequency control only two machines will be there okay two machines or one machine with infinite bus okay so he's saying like you know for example this is 50h okay let me take a bit down 50h another one is 52h 52h Another one is 52.5 H. In both cases, 2000, no? 2000, 2000. This is going to be 2000, 2000, 2000 kilowatt. Okay. This is also is going to be 2000 kilowatt. Right. Now, means like, you know, if it is operating at full load, if it is operating at full load to 50, and my first machine, 52, 52. So, my first machine is like this okay my second machine like this okay so what is happening here both are operating at full load condition at 50 h now if you keep on reduce your uh, what do you say output power means my uh, frequency rises or speed rises speed regulation prime over Sp uh, frequency rises to 52 in one case and frequency rises to 52.5 in another case okay now what about the like you know total output now 2400 maybe this is 2400 okay so this is going to be 2400 kilowatt and this is going to be pa and this is going to be pb we have to write the equations actually two equations we have to solve there is no other go okay so for example same same concept is same 52 to 50 reduction will give you 2000 and x axis okay so 52 minus 50 y axis dy by dx is how much 2000 okay so 52 minus 50 by 2000 is going to be what is this frequency f so 52 minus f divided by pa right now for example this the other point like you know 52.5 minus 50 by 2000 because 52.5 minus 50 y axis y x axis is going to be 2000 is going to be how much like you know same slope should be there from here to here same slope from here to here also same slope no that's logic so this is going to be 52.5 minus f divided by 2400 minus pa getting my point right so now like you know means previously in our previous problem this divided by this we have done now can we do that no these two equations we have to solve there is no other go like you know if you solve these two equations like you know two variables f and pa two variables f and pa two equations are there you'd be able to solve i got the answer is pa equal to 1111.11 kilowatt and pb 1288.89 1288.89 kilowatt done okay now let us think of the second problem this is like you know very beautiful thing like you know calculate maximum load at which one of the machine become unloaded for given governor setting okay for given governor setting 
okay so let us see like you know maybe theoretically like you know just to solve the problems let me complete and then i will tell you the concept or analysis for example means if my load is this much only this machine will be loaded if load is this much okay load is this much this much only this machine will be loaded so if load is this much okay so when load is this much like you know this machine is going to be unloaded this machine only is going to be loaded after this point only this machine start loading okay actually i'm telling you the wrong thing misconcept but i'll tell you later why this become misconcept okay so this is going to be p minimum okay so how to calculate p minimum 52.5 minus 50 52.5 minus 50 divided by 2000 equal to here to here slope here 52.5 minus 52 52.5 minus 52 divided by dy by dx p minimum so it's going to be how much 400 kilowatt up to like you know if you have up to 400 kilowatt maximum up to that like you know this machine will not be loaded at all now let us think logically okay so for example what i say is the moment this machine is loaded up to 400 kilowatt this machine should not have been connected in parallel because for example like you know if this machine is operating at 52.5 then if you connect this machine now can these two machines operate at 52.5 sorry one machine at 52.5 another another machine at 52 no 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 okay so means from here to here from 52.5 to 52 compulsorily this one machine only should be working without in parallel with this <clears throat> okay so means in this area in the sense till combination is loaded up to 400 kilowatt this machine is not connected with parallel operation then only like you know all uh, synchronous machines should have the same frequency condition will work out okay so point here is in order to reach from here to here this machine is loaded this machine is not connected in parallel under that conditions only we solve this problem okay